what mass spectrometer allows you to do is look at how heavy a molecule is. It's like um, a set of weighing scales for something that's really, really small. Any mass spectrometry technique always requires for the molecules to be in the gas phase, including molecules like proteins, which do not just evaporate. So there is specialized approaches that essentially make these big molecules fly. And some people have called this, is a bit like the challenge of trying to make an elephant fly. My name is Holger Kramer. I'm the head of the mass spectrometry facility at the MRC LMB. We do protein analysis, proteomics, and protein modification, so a whole range of different um, molecules we can look at. So I'm Thomas Morgan, and I'm a research scientist here within the mass spectrometry facility. Structural proteomics is when we are trying to use mass spectrometry to better understand the shape and, more importantly, the interactions of proteins using various reagents to try and fix the, the protein in one place. And then we analyze that protein. And we do that by basically trying to then break it down and then putting it back together again like a jigsaw puzzle. So we've got currently three members in the facility. Um, Farida um, is working on protein identification, label-free quantitative proteomics, and, um, and also some protein modification projects. Um, Sue specializes on isobaric labeling proteomics, um, an approach called TMT tag based proteomics. And uh, Tomas, um, he specializes on structural proteomics, working on cross linking mass spectrometry and hydrogen deuterium exchange mass spectrometry. TMT uh, stands for tandem mass tag. Uh, it labels uh, the protein from each condition with a tag. In the mass pack, it will be fragmented to give a reporter ions. And these reporter ions intensity represent the amount of protein in, the con in that condition. My name is Su Pik Chiu. I work in mass spec facilities in LMB. Hydrogen deuterium exchange is a pretty nifty technique, in all honesty, in that when you have uh, hydrogen, which is, is basically a, a proton, which, which has a mass of one, we can actually uh, change that to an isotope of, of hydrogen, which is called deuterium, which has a mass of, of two. Hydrogen deuterium exchange occurs where a protein is easily either more easily accessible to a solvent, or more importantly, where there's a high amount of internal energy, which normally means it's a part of the protein that moves a lot. In terms of new technologies in mass spectrometry, um, one particular technique is called ion mobility separation, or IMS, and that allows you to separate molecules in the gas phase independent of their mass. This technology allows you to separate proteins depending on their shape, their conformation, and this is something that has developed um, in quite a big way, and I think this is still has got a way to go. LMB, I like uh, the people here, the communications. Uh, we talk about uh, projects and how to solve the problems. When people email me, tell me uh, the data looks good, I feel really good. We have so many different instruments, but the real challenge is finding interesting molecules to use on those instruments. And that's what the LMB has in spades. We've, we've really got no end to the amount of things that we can analyze, and that's incredibly lucky to have. Oh, what's the best thing? I think the best thing really that I've experienced is um, working with very enthusiastic researchers. Very, people are enthusiastic about the work they do, um, who tend to be very bright, and who really want to push the boundaries of science. And I think it's very rewarding. 